In this video, I will show you how to find the perimeter and area of various random shapes such as this one. So, in general, how do we find the perimeter of any shape? Go ahead, Devin D. We add all the sides. We add up all those sides. Good job, Devin D. Okay, so let's highlight the outer border of the shape. So, when we're doing perimeter, we're just doing like this, and this, and that, and that, and that. All right, there will be no lines on the inside that were, will be part of the perimeter. We don't break it up into separate shapes for perimeter. That's only for area. Okay, um, so side AB, how long is that? Anybody? Six. Six. Okay, um, what about BC? Five. What about CD? Four. Four. Okay, DE, we have to slow down a tiny bit and do the Pythagorean theorem. Okay, so DE is, uh, is right here in red. Uh, we make a little right triangle out of it, and we observe the horizontal and the vertical. Horizontally, this is uh, three, and vertically, it's two. So therefore, it's going to be the square root of 3 squared plus 2 squared. That's 9 plus 4, that's 13. So that's the square root of 13. Don't forget the radical. Don't forget the square root part of that. Um, and then similarly for EA, we will also do the Pythagorean theorem as well. All right, so for EA, we make this little right triangle over here like this. Uh, horizontally, it's 2. Vertically, it's 4. So this should be the square root of 2 squared plus 4 squared. That's 16 plus 4. That's 20. So this, that's going to be the square root of 20. So if we add all of these up, that should be the perimeter. Um, okay, so we already did step three. Okay, we already did all this. Hold on. Okay, I had to pause the video and figure out what they wanted to put in all these spaces. I guess this entire giant space is just for this little calculation and a whole other giant space for that, but that's fine. Um, so then we're supposed to calculate the perimeter, add it all up. So I guess we're doing baby steps. Has somebody already done this so I, you can spare me from typing this into my calculator? What did you get if you add all this up? 23.07. Okay, 23.07. You, eight, you have to round up. Okay, uh, did we have units or am I just going to say units? Like, so I'll just put a little U on it. Okay. Any questions about that problem? No. No. <laughs> okay. So that was perimeter. Now we're going to find area. This is the one where you take the shape and you split it up into multiple areas that you can find the area for. Stick to doing vertical lines or horizontal lines when you separate this. Um, to me, it seems like the best thing to do would be to, to draw a single horizontal line right there. That separates it into three areas, um, two triangles and a rectangle. So I'm going to call this um, area one is going to be uh, this. I'm going to call area two to be the rectangle. And I'll call area three uh, to be the other triangle. That's the way I'm going to do it. Oh, well, they, I guess they already did stuff. Okay, this worksheet's messing with me a little bit. I'll do it their way. Okay, so rectangle. They said we're doing the rectangle right now. Um, do I, am I supposed to do the work for the rectangle down here? Looks, looks like I am. Um, the area of a rectangle is base times height. Okay, so my little rectangle is going to be base times height, so that's going to be 5 is the base here, and the height of this rectangle is 2. 
So that's 10. I have to write real big to fill up that space. So that's the area of the rectangle is 10. Okay, now, hey, focus on one of those triangles, like maybe the one on the left. The area of a triangle is 1 half base times height. So it's going to be 1 half base times height. Um, the base of this triangle is 2, and the height is 4. All right, 2 and 4. So 1 half, 2 times 4. That should just be 4. See how the 1 half and the 2 cancel each other out? Yep. So that's just going to be 4. OK, so that's the area of the first triangle. OK, now look at the next triangle. All right, it's again going to be 1 half base times height. All right, the base of this triangle is 3. The height is 2. So that's going to be 3 because the 1 half and the 2 again cancel each other out and leaves 3. OK, so that means the total area is 17. OK, 17 units squared. Any questions about that problem? All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Go ahead and click here in the red apple to watch the next video. Click in the green apple to subscribe or click the yellow apple for the full playlist.